so i hope you understand our uh, previous discussions so let's talk about the relationship in the equation form so we're going to talk about uh, this in 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 two parts Part one is that that the contribution formal income statement can be expressed as profit is equal to sales minus variable cost and then minus fixed cost. Well, you can see that here as, as well. Sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost as well. Right? So in RBC, we assume that we are selling for one units of bicycles our sales is 200 500 per unit 500 cost our variable cost as a whole is 120,300 while 300 is per unit cost our contribution margin is 80,200 200 is our contribution margin we have 80,000 fixed cost and we have 200 operating income as well right so all these parts mm, part one we talk about the equation form so the part two is its formula form which we talk about in, in our coming slides so the crux of this slide is that in order to understand the relationship we can also write down this format equation format into an equation which is profit is equal to sale minus variable cost minus fixed cost. Let move, let's move forward. So, in order to find out uh, whether this equation is is okay or not, so we have place equation here. So we know that 401 is our sales. So answer would be here so this is our 200 uh, 200,500 is our sales 120,300 is our variable cost 80,000 is our fixed cost and answer is 200 so this proves that we can also convert that format into an equation so in this slide we are formally going towards the making the equation form so if a company sells one product we can uh, like we have RBC example here only one bicycle is sold then we can express the sales and variable expenses as shown in the blue and brown boxes so we know that sales is equal to quantity into price right and we can also say that that the we can express our variable cost into variable cost expense per unit multi uh, variable cost expense per unit multiplied by the quantity so we know that sales is equal to per unit price multiplied by the quantity while the variable cost total variable cost is equal to variable cost per unit multiplied by the quantity right and then minus the fixed cost now question arises here why we cannot express per unit fixed cost why recall our last uh, lecture discussion on fixed behavior of fixed cost that the behavior of fixed cost as a whole is constant when we convert our fixed cost into per unit then it's behavior changes and what, what about the behavior the behavior is that it changes and it decreases but never becomes zero as the number of unit increase fixed costs start decreasing so that means that we cannot rely on per unit fixed cost okay so that was a uh, important point here to discuss okay, let's move forward So, this equation can also be used to show that 200 profit RBC earns if it sells 401 bike. So, here it is. You can just put the value here. We know that the 500 is basically the sale price. The price multiplied by the quantity. 
minus variable cost per unit multiply the quantity and we have fixed cost right so the answer would be here 200 so this slide is basically further the further extension of our previous slide so in which we talk about that the equation that we discussed in our previous slide is useful to express simple property equation in terms of unit contribution margin as follows so we know that that profit is equal to sale price multiplied by quantity minus variable cost multiplied by quantity and minus fixed cost and we know that one thing is common from these two that is q so q coefficient is common here so we just take our q whatever left here is sale price per unit minus variable cost and minus fixed cost so we know that here that a sale price minus variable cost is a per unit contribution margin so here comes our next next idea is that cm multiplied by the quantity minus fixed cost is our profit right so let's see what this slide says so we have like here selling price per unit minus variable expense per unit we know that this is a unit cm so in that case like we just discussed price into quantity minus variable into variable cost per unit into quantity q is common here and we can easily reduce our first equation to just three variable parts that is cm per unit multiplied by quantity minus fixed cost to find out profit that is the beauty of using the contribution margin equation uh, contribution margin profit equation form right all you need is to find out the variables and you can find out the profit as well so this equation can also be used to compute the profit if itself for one bike so basically this is a proof that this equation is 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 this correct or incorrect so let's see here we just put the values so that is our sale price sale price per unit of the bike minus its variable variable cost per unit you multiply with the quantity 80,000 over fixed cost answer is 200 right so this is a reduced form of our contribution margin profit equation form 